I'm Thomas Baldrick here in San Francisco at the 2014 ASH Conference with Dr. Richard J. Kelly from Leeds in the UK. He's from the St. James University Hospital talking about improved outcomes of pregnancy in PNH patients. Tell us about this study and why you did it. Since we've been using Echolizumab back in 1992, when we first um, uh, started it in the clinical trials, Echolizumab has revolutionised the treatment of patients with PNH. They no longer have the symptoms of the disease, and, and it looks as though they have a normal um, length of life, certainly over the time and period we've been using Echolizumab. Because it's a disease which tends to affect young adults, we now have more and more young women who are feeling well, and they want to start a family, and often they, they've started that they've become pregnant before coming to see us. It used to be that um, uh, pregnancy was uh, contraindicated in, in patients with PNH. The mortality rates that, that we have before Eclizumab was available was high both for the mother and for the, for, the, for the baby, with a mortality rate in the mother being somewhere between 8 and 20 percent and in uh, the babies between 4 and 8 percent, depending on which uh, data set you look at. Um, so, being able to um, comment and, and show uh, improved outcomes in these patients um, is a fantastic thing. How important are these improved treatments? I mean, obviously, it's, it's pretty hard for you to have to tell a, a woman, don't get pregnant. So how important is this? The, I mean, I think it's, it's, it's one of the most important things in, in PNH um, at the moment. The, we've had, um, we've, we've made vast improvements in our ability to treat patients over the last 10 years with this this one drug with this um, and um, and as I say because these people are no longer having symptoms of their disease they've got um, a, a change in the natural course of the disease where they're surviving um, what looks like the same as people um, the same amount of time as people who don't have the disease they're now wanting to, um, to have families and have children so um, to be able to, to say that they're, they're not going to die, well, they're not likely to, to, to have high mortality rates in pregnancy um, and they're likely to be able to get through the pregnancy is, is fantastic news. What were your study methods for this? Um, so uh, what we did was we, uh, alongside the PNH Global Registry, we identified physicians who'd cared for uh, women um, with, uh, through pregnancy on Echolizumab and we, we devised a questionnaire and we sent it out to all the physicians um, both who have patients within the registry and, and physicians that we know who've managed patients um, with echolizumab through pregnancy. Um, and we looked at um, the, the disease before the pregnancy. We looked at a lot of parameters during the pregnancy. We looked um, obviously at things like uh, mortality, um, uh, pregnancy outcomes like premature births, um, abortion rates, um, the um, uh, miscarriages and um, uh, transfusion requirements and, and compared that, um, you can compare that to historical data where, where patients were, weren't surviving. Uh, we also looked at things like uh, echolizumab, whether it crosses the placenta and comes out um, into, the, into the cord and whether it um, comes out in breast milk and it doesn't look like it, goes out in, it comes out in breast milk so it looks like it's safe to breastfeed um, and if it does cross the placenta it's only at very small levels and not at a level which is sufficient to block complement. What do you see as a future for echolizumab and what will you be doing next? The um, I think uh, echolizumab as a, a, a treatment for PNH has revolutionised um, patient treatment and, and I, th I think the message that um, it's safe to use echolizumab in pregnancy is a very important one. Um, often uh, physicians who have uh, patients with PNH will only have one or two um, maximum or, or you know may never um, have come across someone else with PNH before. So to have the confidence to know that you're able to treat someone during pregnancy I think is very important and, and so getting this message out in the medical literature to me is very important so that um, young women wherever they are um, can, can lead a more normal life with the disease. Very good. Congratulations on your findings and, Thank you very and best much. of luck to you. Thanks for being with us. Thanks very much.